Jesus, when he had cried again with a loud voice, yielded up the ghost. And behold, the veil of the temple was rent in twain from the top to the bottom, and the earth did quake, and the rocks rent, and the graves were opened, and many bodies of the saints which slept arose, and came out of the graves after his resurrection, and went into the holy city, and appeared unto many. Now when the centurion and they that were with him watching Jesus saw the earthquake and those things that were done, they feared greatly, saying, Truly this was the Son of God. NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, is a United States government federal agency. Their website has a database of major earthquakes throughout history. According to their website, in 33 AD, the earthquake occurred at the crucifixion. That is, the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. This account matches the historical record in the Holy Bible. Jesus Christ was about 33 years old when he was crucified. There was an earthquake and the sun was darkened. According to their website, in the nation we today call Israel, which was previously called Palestine, back in the year 33 AD, they show that an earthquake occurred that destroyed a city, and in their words, it was at the crucifixion. This is based on their references dating back from 1853 and 1985. This matches the account given in the Holy Bible, which shows that Jesus Christ, when he was about 33 years old, was crucified. The sun was darkened, and there was a great earthquake. Now when the centurion and they that were with him watching Jesus saw the earthquake and those things that were done, they feared greatly, saying, Truly this was the Son of God.